Oh gosh. Hello Banta music followers, welcome back. We are going to be reviewing and testing a practice chanter I bought off of eBay. You may remember that I just reviewed and tested a set of bay pipes off of eBay. Both of those links will be down below. This is the practice chanter. It is not even in bubble wrap. It's in a plastic bag that I would fit a walker in. This is the cardboard cutout that it came in and this is the silver packaging. It's not silver surfer. And then the two practice chanteries that I can of course pick up. These th is these things. Some reviews say that these did not come with the package and others said that they were broken. Thankfully these are not broken but a sound test later on will determine just how good or bad they are. So let's start with taking the practice chanter out of the packaging. If you can call this packaging. This is like I say it's not even bubble wrap and I'm just going to take the darn thing out of there. And the first thing I remember from when I did the big pipe review was that the holes weren't even in line. And on this one, they're better. However, the holes are all different sizes. That is going to significantly and negatively affect your sound, so be aware of that. Let's take out the top of this sucker now, shall we? Honestly, this thing looks beautiful. I really like the, um, the finishing carpentry on this thing, if you can call it carpentry but the color is really, really nice. I like this, I like the finish on it. This is a little bit better. This is better, this is better. And then you got the blowpipe top, which um, I might be able to um, poke a pin through. It's about that big. And then this part, which is actually a little bit more flush, but it's, it's pretty okay. But let's try putting a reed into the chanter. Now, if I quickly look at the reeds, I notice, whoops. I notice that I can speak di very different languages and pitches, just like the reeds. You'll notice that the copper staples of the reeds are both different sizes. One is a little bit rounder and the other one is more of an egg shape, but nonetheless, this will affect and negatively affect your sound when you put them into the chanter and it will also affect how you put them in the reed seat and how well they stay in. So I'll put this one into the reed and it fits in fairly nicely and I'll make sure that it's nice and straight just like how, just like when I walk and then I'm put the then I'm put <laughs> I'll put the top of the chanter onto the bottom and it fits on fairly nicely so it's not too bad and let's hear how it sounds oh boy uh... I didn't know Chewbacca was in the room uh... Oh gosh. A, that took a lot more air than I was expecting, and B, it sounded a lot worse than I was expecting. So that's how one read sounds. Let's see how the other one sounds. It's not a good, it's not a good result so far, whoops. Thankfully, um, plastic reeds like this won't break as much when uh, you drop them. Please don't drop your cane reeds, not a good idea. So I'll stick that on there. Woo <laughs> Geese. <laughs> I don't know what sounded better, me or the chanter. I think me, honestly, but this chanter does not sound the greatest. And I'm going to put one of these reeds into my own practice chanter so you can see, hear the difference. So I've taken my practice chanter apart, the black one here, and I have the reed to the side. I'll take my chanter, I'll take one of these reeds in here, and I don't really care which one, but if we blow both of them, hear how they sound. This one's a little bit brighter, so it's a teeny, uh, pitched a teeny bit brighter, and I like brighter pitches, so let's go with this one. <laughs> so, the funny thing is, in a chanter like this, it actually doesn't sound too bad. The only notes I didn't like were F, high G, and high A. 
those notes were not the greatest and the rest of them were actually not too bad. They sound a little bit more on the flatter side, but frankly, these reeds are not good. They're still not good and neither is the chanter. Now, a lot of people have bought these chanters. There are over a thousand of these particular ones from this seller uh, sold. That is a lot. Now, this chanter, um, I have another one coming that has a imitation ivory um, furl. This one's silver. The seller has sold a lot of these. And my issue with this is that these chanters are not made to standard. If you're unfamiliar with how a chanter is supposed to sound, you'll, you, you may not realize that the A, the holes have to be in line, which in, in this case, most of them are not. B, they're supposed to be the same size, which they are not. And C, you're not supposed to get a dying duck out of it. So if you get this and you have one of these EB chanters, it's not you, it's the instrument. A lot of people may not realize this, and this is why we're doing this review, so that you can tell when the chanter is defective. And I learned this not long ago when I, when I got um, uh, contacting the seller of the pipes I reviewed a while ago. The seller said that the, he asked for um, photos of the, of the pipes. I sent them everything and explained what I found wrong with them and they did not get back to me. What I would like to point out that some of you may not be aware of is that eBay has a money back guarantee. If the product that you receive is defective, and in this case, this is defective because there's a lot of issues with this as well, you can let the seller know that you would like a refund, you ship the product back, or actually in my case, I got to keep the pipes and my fire, even my fireplace went, nope. This chanter is simply not worth your money or your time. This chanter was approximately 20, 17 to 20 uh, British pounds. So I don't know what that is in Canadian, but it doesn't matter. This is a really cheap chanter. Yes, if um, you want to save a bit of money, you can do that. However, I would highly suggest that you go with a chanter from a reputable dealer I'll put a few suggestions down below and uh, I also have a list of reputable dealers on other videos as well. So if you'd like to take a look at those, please do so. But thank you so much to the new subscribers who have joined the channel. Thank you to my returning subscribers. If you enjoyed this, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. See you later.